Attention! This video is made for scientific and educational purposes. The video does not violate YouTube's rules. Link to the document with links to the original video and quotes in the description. Hi! Welcome to news from the world of weapons. And today we will tell you about the planned date of the first flight of the Turkish Tati FX fighter. We will also talk about the participation of the civil aviation sector in the development of this fighter and its possible export to Malaysia. If you like the video, don't forget to like it and share it on your social networks. Turkey's TFX National Combat Aircraft MMU, a joint project by the Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, and Presidency of Defense Industries SSB, is preparing for a maiden flight using a domestic engine in 2029. Work to develop the engine continues at full speed, in cooperation with related institutions, according to Osman Dur, General Manager of TR Engine, a new research and development center for turboshaft engines. He said some 80 engineers are working in the National Fighter Jets domestic engine project, in cooperation with the Turkish Air Forces Command. The engine tests are set to be completed by 2026 or 2027. The MMU's maiden flight with a domestic engine will take place in 2029, he added. The MMU is a fifth-generation jet with similar features to Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. The domestically built aircraft is being developed to replace the Turkish Air Forces Command's F-16 fighters, ahead of the gradual phasing out of the latter throughout the 2030s. Due to the gradual decommissioning of the F-16 combat aircraft over the next decade, the significance of the TFX project has grown, not least as the US has also halted the delivery of F-35 fighter jets to Turkey as part of a coercive effort against Ankara. A mock-up of the National Combat Aircraft was first showcased at the Paris Air Show in June 2019 and later at the Technofest Istanbul in September. By the way, if you want to keep up to date with the latest military news and news from the world of weapons, you must subscribe to our Telegram channel in order not to miss anything. Link to the Telegram channel in the description. The project to develop domestic capabilities to manufacture national jet fighter engines was initially launched by TIE but was later taken on by TR Engine, a company established in 2017 by the SSB to incorporate various engine-related projects under a single umbrella. Around 55% of the company is owned by Turkish defense contractor BMC, while TIE has a 35% stake. SSTEK, a subsidiary of the SSB, also has a 10% share in TR Engine. In a statement to Anatole Agency Friday, the general manager of the group Osman Dur said the firm had been negotiating with international engineering and design firms, along with original equipment manufacturers OEM, given that design and production represented two separate operations. There is no point in designing technologies that we cannot put into production. Therefore, we continue our best efforts to develop local suppliers for the domestic aircraft industry, he said. Dur said Turkey has a well-developed institutional structure in the aviation and aerospace industry and there would be no problem in terms of human resources. There are a few people who have experience in critical technologies-related sectors, but we have the experience and links to attract more human resources from around the world, he said. He added that Turkey's civil aviation sector has been contributing to the defense industry in several technological spheres, including informatics, software and artificial intelligence AI, as opposed to the past, when the defense industry used to support the development of civil industries. He underscored TR Engine's role in uniting industry personnel with academicians working in the field. The center has also been encouraging university students to apply for work in the sector. Thai chairman Temel Kotil told that the company had been carrying out projects on marketing and exports of recently developed domestic products. We remind you that this video is made only for scientific and educational purposes. It does not violate the rules of YouTube and all links to quotes in the description. To this end, Turkey has invited Malaysia to join a mutual production of the MMU and Turkey's own training and light attack aircraft, the Herjet. We made them a proposal, and they showed great interest," Kotil said. He added that Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad had previously visited the Thai Centre, adding they also held bilateral meetings during President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's visit to Malaysia in December. Turkey wants the TFX project to be a multi-partnered program, like the one enjoyed by the F-35 fighter jet program. 
Other countries, especially in the Asia-Pacific, such as Malaysia, are being considered potential partners in the project by Ankara. According to sources, Turkey has already discussed partnership possibilities with other countries, but there is no done deal yet. Kotil noted that Malaysia has significant composite producing centers, a recently established composite valley being one of them, but the country lacked homegrown products in the aviation sector. Thai aims to provide cooperation to the Southeast Asian country in this regard, to reach out to the Far East market, he said. A cooperation memorandum has already been signed between the company and Malaysian counterparts in the composite field, he added. Thai has been in negotiations for the mutual production of other aircraft as well, with the likes of Kazakhstan and Pakistan, to work on domestically developed products like the Gokbi General Purpose Helicopter. The MMU aircraft will have several new generation features, including low visibility, internal gun housing, high maneuverability, increased situational awareness and sensor fusion. Meanwhile, Gokpi, which was designed to operate effectively in the most challenging climates and geographies, altitudes and temperatures, completed its first certification flight in July 2019. The certification flight tests of a second prototype of the Gokpi helicopters, produced by Thai, are planned to be completed next year. In addition to structural systems and avionics, Gokpi's design and production of critical systems like transmission, rotor and landing gear also used national resources. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Subscribe and watch our other videos from the world of weapons. See you later.